Hi, everybody. We're here for another episode of For the Love of Health, and we're talking to Adrian Rivera today. And um, we are going into business as usual. Adrian, how are you today? I'm doing so well. Excited to be here. Thanks so much for being here. And your company is based in Reno, Nevada. Is that correct? Yep. But we just learned today that you are actually from Virginia. Very cool. Which is where a lot of our um, businesses are based or localized in the Northeastern, Southeastern, Southern United States. So really exciting for you to be tuning in today. And so um, tell us a little bit about your, um, your company's mission and what's going on. Yeah, so I am a spiritual business coach. I support coaches and healers in growing and scaling their business through doing online collaboration events and high ticket sales with my process called energetic enrollment so that they don't have to be on social media 24 seven all the time and that they can actually, you know, live their lives and spend quality time with their loved ones and their family. Um, I'm also the founder of Breath of Gold, which is a breathwork business. We have a breathwork certification, really just spreading the mission of training as many people with breathwork to give and empower the gift of breath to as many people as possible. And I started out as as a fitness coach originally as an entrepreneur. Yes, yes. And I, you know, breath work is something that I'm hearing quite a lot recently in entrepreneur and boss up, boss women circles. It's like this really powerful tool. And um, maybe it's just a, a quick way to tap into people's mental health too. And I've explored breath work as well. But what's great about you is that you seem to be really integrating it into a business as well as a way to grow business. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yes, for sure. So breath work has been my behind the scene way of growing business. And really how I see it working with business owners is three ways. One, it helps you get clarity and also find alignment so that you can shine up. A lot of people ask me, Adrian, how do you have so much energy all the time? And how are you so passionate about what you talk about? And a lot of it is breath work, just aligning my own energy as well as getting um, clarity, right? Like I'll just go into a breath work session and say, all right, like this is what I need help with with business spirit, God, show me what it is that I need to know. And that comes through another way that I see it supporting people is by them getting certified and adding this to their coaching business. And this helps them get better client testimonials and results. Um, and then third, they can charge more because they're getting better testimonials and their clients love working with them. They're getting more referrals. And this is something that I definitely see health coaches can utilize more. When I was doing fitness coaching, I used breath work with my clients that were finding stagnant, um, like a period of stagnation with their results. And often the last 10 pounds is the hardest because it's emotional, right? It's keeping people at an arm's length. It's holding on to the sorrows and the pain of your family. And until you process it, it will stay, right? So it doesn't matter how much health coaching or fitness coaching you give someone, there's a subconscious to everything. And I believe that breath work can really support people in tapping into that because when we do coaching and we just ask questions, we're just really going with the conscious mind. And when we want to tap into the subconscious, we love to do embodiment work like breath work to see what is the body surfacing that we get to look at. Yeah, absolutely. So are you currently coaching people? Like, are you offering coaching as in your business or is it just education and certification programs? Yeah, that's a great question. So I have lots of different offerings in terms of breath of gold, the main offerings that we have, we just came out with an Oracle deck. So that's awesome. We have a certification that's go at your own pace. And it's also mentorship ongoing after they get certified to make sure that they're getting better and better and better as a certified breathwork facilitator. Um, and then we have a Sunday breathwork membership. So those are kind of our main offerings. And then three clients I take on at a time for in-depth coaching, where we go into breathwork one-on-one -on -one and um, yeah, really support them in using breathwork for their business. And then for my business coaching, we have a mastermind. I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching in the mastermind and support people with figuring out what they're really good at, extracting that zone of genius, putting it into a business that they're excited about in a way that they're excited to market because you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of being told by a business coach to do this one thing. And it's only this way that we can get these results because frankly, that's just not true. There's a million ways to do business and 
some of my clients, they want to be on Instagram all the time. So I will support them with that. Most of my clients, they don't want to be on social media all the time. And so that's where I have strategies that I've really um, tried and tested myself that I love teaching them because one of my biggest values is relationships and spending time with the people that matter and making memories and adventuring and going backpacking on the weekends and taking care of your own health. And having more of that freedom and less of that, I have to show up every day rather than like tuning in and seeing what feels aligned, right? Because a lot of times we show up because we have to, not because we want to. And so really supporting people and creating a business that doesn't need to revolve around social media. And I can imagine too that, you know, not just doing private coaching, you're able to now expand into many different areas and have more impact with more people. Totally. Um, So creating different types of products that can be, that are still full of value, but more people can ultimately invest into it rather than private coaching where you can only impact a certain number of people at once. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You want to speak to that choice a little bit? Yeah. When clients come to me and they're first growing their business, I suggest that they build their business in three phases. Phase one is sell out your one-on-one coaching. For some people, they may only ever want to have three clients and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe it's five, maybe it's 10. I'm feeling more like that right now. Like I'm like (laughs) loving this idea of just having a few, but I still have a heart for like some space for something that's not right with my group program, but that can change, right? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there's a beauty about starting out with one-on-one coaching, because when you do, you allow yourself to see what you're really good at. Like you hear all of your clients saying, oh my gosh, Adrian, you really helped me with this thing, which you may not think is your zone of genius. It's like with business coaching, there is so many hats that people can wear. People can be a business coach that specializes in branding. People can be a business coach that specializes in sales, like my background. Um, There's different things. And of course we all know all of it, but there's things that really stand out where clients are like, you really helped me with this. And when you can tune into that and you're like, oh yeah, this just comes easily to me. I can totally make a program for this and take more people through it. Then that's when you get to phase two, which is creating the group coaching program. And the best way to do that is either with a breathwork session or journaling. I have my <laughs> little 50 cent journal always with me. And uh, I, I write out like, what are the things that I've taught my people that have gotten amazing results that if I were to just take someone through exactly what we did with those one-on-one clients, what is it that I would take them through? And so that's how you then birth your first group coaching program. I love that you have those journals too. Amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know where I would be without, without this notebook. It's like, yeah. you know, it's, it's there, it's there for you. Um, okay. And thank you so much. I mean, cause you, you're, you're hitting some success. You, you've hit mm-hmm. some success. Just to be very clear, y'all, this is a, this is a, this is a six figure business owner we're talking to. Okay. So this is someone who, I, I mean, not, not to, not to brag, but <laughs> like, we're, we're talking to someone who has, has done it. Who was really, a, cause, so tell us how, let's, let's go back humble. You started as a fitness coach, right? Yep. And so that single session, single session work, right? Yeah, was probably like, I did a lot of group fitness work. And so I was going from gym to gym, teaching spin class, Pilates, all the things that was like way back when, and I was probably making like 30 grand a year. So at that time I had roommates, I had all the things I could make it with 30 grand, but not the end goal for sure. So then I started some online stuff and incorporating that. And then I got to 50 grand a year. And then I really, can we talk for a moment though, about that, about that goal? You said the goal didn't, it wasn't what it was. How did you know? What did, what happened there? Mm, Well, I know that I wanted to be the kind of person that set myself up financially for success that saved a lot of money so that when it comes to the time where I'm ready to have kids, I can be a present mom. There's money in the bank. I don't have to worry about needing to work all the time. And so I knew that I'm like, Hmm, I'm getting by, but this isn't meeting my goal because I'm not saving as much as I would want to. Like before I have kids, I want to save a million dollars, which is totally possible. Um, Yeah. So then I got to 50 grand and that was just with a few one-on-one clients, you know, charging around 3k, making it a little bit, you know, a lot of that was uh, Facebook. And then I did even more with Facebook and created my first group coaching programs and expanded even more, added more offerings and then hit a hundred grand. 
a year. And last year we hit 300 grand. And that was with a lot of systems, a lot of things. I should have hired way more people. <laughs> 300, um, it's funny, a business coach friend of mine says, most people doing most of the stuff on their own can only hit hundred grand. After that, it's all about team. And yes, I had a lot of team last year, but it was kind of like very transitional, you know, didn't find the right people. It's like playing chess when you hire for business. You have to make sure the right person is in the right place. And a lot of the times I would hire the people because I loved them. I resonated with them. They're awesome, but they were in the wrong position or they weren't getting enough direction or clarity with their direction. And um, it's really fascinating because I've hired people from both the US and also the Philippines and overseas in South Africa. And what I found is that often when we hire someone who is like, you know, born and raised with English, there's a lot of benefits there but we overassume. We just think that they can read our minds because we think that they're just like us. And so oftentimes, sometimes the better results come from people in the Philippines because we're over explaining ourselves. We're spelling everything out, any, like anything that could be unclear. We're just giving that extra clarity. And because of that, they get the job done and it's really well. And they're also asking questions if they are unclear. A lot of the times, um, talking about my kind of work that's that's how I help people I help people get in the head of seeing the steps required rather than just the big picture yes so that's good the steps are so important. needed like oh I need to build a funnel and I'm like okay what step are you on oh I don't know I have this person doing that okay uh, hold on <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta know what your outcome is otherwise you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get burnt out on making these out ex you know these choices, hiring and not knowing what's coming in. Like, you know, what are your numbers? I don't know my numbers, Laura. Well, let's, let's talk about why that is and let's get into the heart of it. Um, yeah. So fair, fair enough. Um, and these big hiring choices, like you said, um, people don't really have to happen until you're at a hundred thousand, not saying that's for everybody, but a lot of people are kind of doing that way early on when they're still making very little in their business. Well, so I'm hearing the choices, you know, and that's really cool um, that really that getting from that bridge from 30 to 50 was just a few one on one clients and doing it at a three grand package, packaging our sessions, your healing sessions or your uh, your service based sessions in ways that can then be a little bit more scalable. Is that what I'm hearing? Mm -hmm. Yes. And for anyone listening, if you have the money, hire a VA way before you think that you're ready for one. That is the biggest mistake that I made. And I could have grown way faster if I would have just surrendered my ego of I can do it better. Or, I should just save the money. It's really not that much of an expense and it'll save you so much of your energy so that you can show up in your zone of genius. And yeah, you shouldn't be the one who's repurposing content. You shouldn't be the one that's like, you know, getting back to all the stuff in your to-do list. Like you should have systems in place and other people managing it. It's like, you're the CEO of your business. You don't have to hold everything there in your brain, like put it in a journal, put it in your like teamwork or your Asana or whatever your um, process is for project management. Right. So uh, we do have a lot of service-based providers in this group and in my community in general, people who are doing 90 hour service-based weeks in spaces, multiple spaces, maybe under other other people's umbrellas. What would you say, you know, what would your message be to them? Yeah, well, ask yourself, are you burnt out? Do you desire this? Because part, you may like the in-person stuff. You may not mind it. I know that personally, I kind of miss teaching spin class. I'm like, that was kind of nice to get paid to work out. <laughs> but to to the extent that I was doing it, I was burning myself out. 15 hours of working out a week is a lot <laughs> and it's not advisable. So ask yourself first, are you happy? That is always what I feel that people need to hear most, especially from a business coach, because so many business coaches, I think are damaging people because it's like, it's all about the money. It's all about the money. And I feel that that mindset will burn you out when you're always chasing the money. Um, this year, I actually let go completely of my money goal. I know that I'm going to hit it when I first prioritize my happiness, my fulfillment, my family, and I'm shifting the metrics. Like I already have money. I already have savings. Like I'm hitting my goals. It's fine. And I will not only double my income this year, probably more than that. Um, and I'm going to be unattached. And that is the biggest thing that I really want people to sit with because 
get out of this loop of comparison. If you're always like, oh, I need to get this goal. And then you're falling short. You're going to feel like a failure. Last year, my goal was a million dollars and 300 K felt like a failure. And just now three months into the year, am I allowing myself to actually be proud and feel like, oh yeah, that's like a really good goal. That's like what doctors make. Like that's pretty good. <laughs> and just allowing myself to be proud of myself. So be proud of yourself for where you're at. Um, know that you're already making a difference. And if you've made a difference going session to session in person, think about the difference that you can make online. And if that aligns with you and your values and you want to create freedom and go online and transition, there's never been a better time than now. You can impact people where you could have coaching clients in California and New York and Hawaii. And it's a lot of fun. It really is. And so what I would say is, you know, think about who you know that you could help. I always take people through a breathwork journey and that is their intention. I say, Ask God when you go into the breathwork journey, who are 10 people that I already know that I could help? And then reach out to those 10 people, have a conversation with them, offer your coaching for free and cre recreate that connection. Cause it's probably been a while that you've talked to them. And, um, you know, if they're interested, book a second call to talk about what it's going to look like to work together and you recreate I love that. Yeah. That's so true. And I think that speaks to some of the hesitancies that people have about connection. So it's very nice to hear, um, you know, you say that so confidently and with um, so much emotion behind it, because it is like, it, like you said, like an emotional situation, as well as something that's what you need. It's not just about the money, it's other, other aspects to our identity. Um, so, you know, why breath work and, um, you know, why is that the, why is that a main way to connect the health as well as the business together? Mm, so much. One of the parts of me wants to just say, you have to experience it to know, trust me. <laughs> and if anyone here listening wants to try one of our Sunday breathwork uh, classes for free, feel free to reach out. I'd love to have you come as a guest and experience that because, you don't know what you know until you do it, right? Um, and to try to explain it, it's like, imagine all the things that you don't know because you're stuck in your head. We are so stuck in our head. And I am a firm believer that not much magic can be born from our head. But when we get into our hearts, when we get into our body, and when we create space to feel the answers and to receive them in our body, then magic happens. And it's really powerful and profound and eye-opening and amazing. And so, yeah, like get out of your head, get into your heart. What does your heart want? Because you get to have support. You get to have VAs working for you. You get to have a business coach. Every, every person who's in business needs to have a business coach, hire one like yesterday, <laughs> find one that aligns with you. Um, but at the end of the day, remember that you are the CEO of your business. You're the one who makes the decisions. I always tell this to my clients, like, here's what I would do if I was in your shoes and what feels most aligned to you. Here's some other options that you can do and what feels most aligned to you. Cause I never want to force someone into what I think they should do. It's this co-creation and find someone that feels that way because I know I've had, um, I've been on the other side of that where I've told, I've had coaches tell me do this one thing. And I'm like, well, wait a second. You didn't even ask if I'm, I'm passionate about this or if this is what I want to do. And that was totally overridden. And I just ended up doing what I wanted to do at the end of the day. So people are going to do what they want to do. So figure out what it is that you want to do and then find a business coach that meets you where you're at to create that game plan and excel in the way that feels good for you and learn all the options. Does a membership feel good for you? Do you want to do a group coaching program? Do you like the automated self-paced course? Do you want to host retreats? You can do all of it and you don't have to do any of it. <laughs> it's like the sky is your limit. Exactly. It sounds yeah. like a branding culture kind of a part of the business too, where your values and your philosophies really can get into the foundation of the business. Uh, because, you know, I think with a lot of practitioners, it's like, well, no, I have a single service session. I have, there's no choice in that. This is what it is. But then, you know, they get kind of stuck with, well, they're all, now they're, they left me and they're going over to this competitor who does something similar. I'm like, well, maybe that there was something there that we could have you know, fused in there, you know, to um, allow the person to see the service beyond what it is in the physical and something that's more meaningful, more transformative. Um, and I think that's a tricky terrain. So what you, you opened up a, a kind of a, a tricky conversation there. And it, it, I, it's really, um, really awesome to hear, hear about that. And you have a coach still, I assume. Right. Because you said I have that. many coaches, <laughs> many types of mentors. I have someone that helps me with business. I have 
also business besties. Um, I have two of them that support me with just talking through business ideas every week. I go to masterminds. I just came back from one next last week. So I don't really just have one ever. I always have multiple. And then I go into breath work and feel okay. Like knowing all these ideas from other people, what feels most aligned to me. Um, I have someone that leads me in breath work every week. We always get to have coaches for every area of our life. Um, we just hired a one-on-one -on -one Tantra mentor, my fiance and I, we've just hit our seven year anniversary being together. And so, yeah, just taking it to the next level with learning from people that know things that would take us a long time to discover on our own. And have you always done like independent work or have you had some cool contracts or uh, partnerships with like corporations or other existing business models? Yeah, I've just been my own thing for all this time. So yeah, that would be interesting. Um, I will say that I do partner with a lot of affiliates and I do partner with a lot of people that we cross promote for each other. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's up to us to sell our services or have our sales team sell our services and create the income from that. Yeah, absolutely. I was just curious if there was like a... Yeah an ideal partnership that you were like, Hey, I think I would like to be umbrella with them or I don't know, something maybe will come along. That'll be at that. At we'll, we'll feel like you can, it could sing to one another rather. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming on today and sharing your, um, your wisdom and expertise with us. And um, yeah, it's um, it's an honor to hear your, to hear your story and hear all the different kinds of decisions that you make and, and how you, implement them and implement your strategies and how you help people do the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I hope that today inspired you to take action on what feels good for you. And also to ask yourself, what are not only my money goals, but also my life goals and to create a business that aligns with your values and supports the lifestyle that you want to create. And if anyone wants to try breathwork, if you go to breathofgold.com slash Sunday dash breathwork, you can try out a class for free. Yeah, those happen on Sunday, right? Yeah. Yep. Every Sunday, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which will be 8.30 Eastern. Thank you so much. Bye.